If you'd like to create a new image in Adobe Photoshop, simply go to File, click on New, and in the New dialog box you have several options to set your canvas up for your new image. In the Name box, go ahead and highlight the information that's on there and go ahead and name your document. Now there are several preset canvas size that canvas sizes that you can use under preset. Um, you can choose the default Photoshop size, you can choose to set it the size of paper, of photos, for web, for mobile devices, and you can also choose custom. And as you select each one of these, down underneath you will get size, you will get different options. So if you choose paper, you'll get a couple different preset options of paper. Um, same thing with photo, you're going to get some options of photo. If you want to create custom, click on custom and you won't get a size preset. Also, if you use a size preset, you can always change it down here in width and height. So let's go ahead and I'm going to choose a photo right here. And as you can see, I can still change this if I want. And you simply type in a new number and it'll go ahead and switch it back to custom if you do changes the, change those. As far as units of measurement, you can choose to do pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, picas, or columns, whichever one you'd like to use. Um, you can see down here where it says image size. This is the size of your image. As you make a bigger document, it's going to increase or decrease if you make a smaller document. Now your resolution over here, the higher resolution, the more crispy your image is going to be. The um, problem with that is it's going to create a larger image size. So if that's a consideration, keep an eye on this as you change it. You can see it's going to increase my image size with the greater resolution. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 300. You also have some measurement options to use pixels per inch or per centimeter. You have a color mode that you can choose and this is just kind of up, up to your preference. It does also affect your image size. Um, RGB color is probably the most used. You can also choose the different types um, of bit for your RGB color or your other colors. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as 8. You can also choose to set up your background now. You can choose to leave your background canvas as white um, as a color or you can choose to have it as transparent. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as transparent. You also have some advanced options here, your color profile and your pixel aspect ratio and you can um, change those if you want. As you get more experienced with using Photoshop, you'll see if you need to make changes here. When you're happy with all the changes that you made, go ahead and click OK and you're going to get the new canvas and the size and all the spe specifications that you set while you were setting it up.